Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now this is basically what they call the fisherman's curse, or a canis. Now this is the dynamite harry pattern, uh, or the version anyway. Now when you're tying these these patterns, I mean the size, uh, I mean obviously canis can be really really small. On average, around about a size 20 is about, around about right, uh, 22. 18 even, I've tied them in the three main sizes and I've caught in all of them and as you can probably see I'm holding the dark one here now it's certainly worth having like even a black version as well as a, a dark olive version which this one is now the main one is obviously the white canis just the normal fisherman's curse which you see and as I say you've, you've got to have a colours of grey, black even olive and white and they will all work. And if you're fishing light in the locks especially, uh, these type of colour combinations, uh, like even in the corb, I tie different colours <laughs> for the corb. So, and this is what these are for the corb. These are actually for that. So anyway, hook choice is entirely up to yourself. Uh, I've just actually, this is my last 20, size 20, uh, this hook, but this is the uh, the hook I'm actually using, it's called a lightweight grub, bronze, this is a size 18, is one of their sizes. Um, the, there's another hook you could use, uh, 22, like the lightweight bronze grub, um, this one. Um, uh, as I say, you can on the other one, so you can see uh, the check nymph. It's slightly larger, uh, this is a size 20, it's just slightly bigger. Uh, I mean, I, I use different hooks, I like it, just a, as long as it's a wide gape, and this has got the wide gape. And uh, it's there's obviously this is this one's actually got a barb on it, but it's quite easy to take the barb out if you want. You just squeeze it with your pliers or in the vise before you tie. It's entirely up to yourself. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to tie it. Uh, you've seen me tie the, the dynamite harry before, uh, but it's the patterns most people are looking for. And I got asked, could I tie the canis? Because I did show it in a box of flies that I had. Now you can use either a black thread or even a white. Uh, white is obviously the main one for the canis. Now, this is a very simple dressing. Start at the eye, you wind the thread to the point of the hook. Now, in the, in the Dynamite Harry, uh, normally it doesn't, the original doesn't have a tail, uh, but in these I've started using Cock de Leon, and this is a, a medium pardo from Whiten, just a normal wheat. Uh, so it's actually a saddle I have, but you could use cock hackle fibre, you could use micro fibres if even if you want, but the, the cock de leon fibre is part of the body as much as it represents the tail, it's got a lovely glossy shine to it and it mixes well with a, oh, there's a few, you could use antrons and such like, uh, aero wings and other for the winging body. The one I'm using is an ultra dry wing, this one's from Full and Mill. So, but anyway, we'll put the tail on. So you're looking for a tail and body length, which is round about, I would say just slightly longer than the hook, but not too long. So we catch that on the top with a single turn. Then straight away we come underneath the fibres and pull towards the eye of the hook, which locks in the tail and lifts the fibre. Do another turn or so. You've got to lock it in, it basically holds it better. Oops. And there we are, we just then tighten onto that. And that's your, your tail. Just looking at some fibres short there, but I'm just going to leave them. It's a, it's a nice enough tail, it's got the colour I want. Now, as I say, I'm actually using basically ultra dry wing. Uh, from Fuller Mill, this is the white. So we tie this for the wing and the body, so we catch it on the top, three or four turns. Now, the easiest way to do it is to cut it halfway along the tail for the body, which is there. And then come over the top, and trim. Just trim it so you've got a sort of, some sort of taper. So you've got the right length by trimming it at the halfway mark of the tail. And then we just go, what I'm trying to do here, just take away the square end. So just drop the tail down, trim. 
this day or time, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I never, as long as I've got an impression of a body, I'm happy with that. And there we are. That's fine. That works for me. Now, the thorax cover. I'm actually using a dubbing from Fully Mill, this one. Again, you could use whatever, whatever you like. It could be black. In this case, it's a dark hair's ear. UV. Uh, this is the Euro Nymph. I think it's Euro Nymph Flash, it's actually called. Uh, uh, it's a Euro Nymph Flash dub. So, just give me a touch of the UV blue on it. I mean, I like that. You've probably seen me using it quite a lot in some flies. So, we just basically tidy that area up where we've got the wing on. Take away the excess. We want to have a thread in front of the wing. You see the distance away, we've got a good distance away. And then we either we either use a grizzle, white, or cree. Any of these hackles will do. Uh, this is these are saddles I have, these are white and saddles. Uh, grizzle's fine if you want to darken it down. Uh, the cree has a, a nice mix of different colours, which is the one I'm going to use in this one. So basically bear the stem. So you can tie it in, wax your thread. Just basically catch the stem in front of the wing. Three or four turns and bring it right your thread right up to the wing. We can then post both the wing and the hackle. Just go up about enough, don't not too far, a fly this size. And then you just want to I don't care where it flips upside down the hackle or whatever, it's just a mix of colour. So you're looking enough hackle, at least three turns. And then what I do here is just bring bring the hackle down and towards the back of the hook, lift the fibre with, for the hackle, hold it, catch it in, make sure it's tight, right up against the wing. Let that go. I mean, I usually just pull it to the side so I can see it. Or come in and trim away. You will catch the odd fibre. Don't worry about it. I mean, the fish don't mind. Uh, for the telly, I'm trying to tidy it up, as they say. And then... I mean, these are rough flies. They're not meant to... They're not the... Rough and ready. And catch a lot of fish. So there we are. More of the dubbing anyway, just a wee tiny drop. Try and get a wee bit of the flash if you can. It's a wee bit here, just try to bring it up. Slide it up. Lift the hackle again, tidy the area and tie in the hackle. And then you want to finish at the eye of the hook. Just leave things as it is at the moment. Then a wee bit of varnish. Onto the thread, then what finish. So I say it's a simple wee fiddly fly though, okay, it's a simple dressing. It's obviously easier on the bigger hooks. Smaller hooks, I've got a wee bit of some there. Uh, it's obviously easier to tie in a larger size. Trim away a thread. You got a fibre there, I'm just trimming it away. And then we bring down our hackle again, just bring it back to where it should be sitting. So we've got our parachute hackle, got my ring ready to trim. Now, the way I trim it, there's a couple of ways. Obviously, I normally like pull it down to, so I can see it, but obviously you can't see it, so the other way to do it is to come up from underneath here, slight angle you know you get it in line with the, the body you come in so basically a straight cut slightly uh, and you'll get that angled it's a wing shape you may miss one or two you can trim them away so that's the fisherman's curse or the canis uh, dynamite harry as i say is a great fly tie them in different sizes 22s 20s 18s uh, especially if you're fishing the locks uh, usually smaller in the river a wee bit, but the, this would cover, I'd probably catch in this one in the river. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and again, thanks for watching.